Hello everyone, welcome back to Benchmark 2. In the last episode, we made uh, ourselves some assortments of machines, as you can see here. And we started making our way towards a better version of the battery box. And the next stage for that process is the assembling machine, which is probably the most complicated machine I've, I've tackled yet. But I think it's doable. So the only thing that is really going to be an issue with me for me is the advanced alloy ingots. Because I need this mixed metal ingot. And there's loads of ways of crafting it. So you either need tungsten, invar, or titanium on the top. And then you need some sort of brass or bronze or something in the middle. And then zinc, tin, or aluminium on the bottom. So I think I've got I've got access to Invar. I don't think I've got titanium or tungsten yet. But as you can see, they all give different outputs. So it's all about finding the right one. So I think I saw one that I could get for five if I used Invar, bronze, and aluminium. There we go. So let's do that. Invar, bronze, aluminium. Let's get a bunch of invar. Which is just in the alloy smelter here. And then bronze. What's the best way of us getting bronze? Can that be done in the alloy smelter? It can. So three copper, one tin. So as soon as that's done smelting up the invar, and then what was it, aluminium? Do I have, oh no, do I not have that? Have I not got aluminium yet? Right, I guess I'm going to have to do tin. Okay, we've got our bronze. So, if I've done this right that should get us yes mixed metal we got four of it which if it's not great but it'll do and then we need to cook it down into my advanced alloy and then so that'll be enough for that we also needed a carbon plate which is from carbon mesh which comes from carbon fiber so how much of that does we need so we need we need two plates, so we need two carbon meshes, so we need four fiber. All right, we've got the advanced alloy ingots, so I need to compress two of those. Electrum, that's the next thing we need. Alloy smelter, one silver, one gold. That can go into the alloy smelter. And it looks like the carbon plates are just about done. I have to get out my refined iron. Just sleep quickly. Okay, and then once I get the advanced alloy plates, I should be able to make the advanced machine frame. That's a start. Now we're evolving. I bet that was a quest. Yeah, it was. Uh, there's the industrial one there as well. All right. Then advanced circuits we know how to do. Electrum plates. Need four of them. Digital display, so we need four aluminium plates, but that was the problem, we didn't have any aluminium. Is that supposed to be an ore somewhere? Because I've not been seeing any aluminium ore.
There's no ore for it. Ruby dust. Really? Ruby dust gets centrifuged? What the hell is that? That seems stupid. So how, what does it cost to make a centrifuge? Quite a lot. Jesus Christ, that's a lot. Okay, so I figured it out, but it's annoyingly complicated. So it's bauxite ore, is what I need to mine, and I did somewhat know that. But the annoying thing is, I need to get this industrial electrolyzer. You put the bauxite in, and then it makes some aluminium dust. Just really complicated way of doing it. So I'm just going to go gather some bauxite to start with, and then come back. Okay, I've got some bauxite, so now we just need... What machine was it? Oh, hold on, I can just craft all these variants back into the regular one. So I can industrial use an industrial grinder to get more dust out of it, which is definitely something I'm going to want to do. And plus you get an aluminium dust there, but we all need a water supply. And then once I've got the dust, I need an industrial electrolyzer. And now is that the industrial quest? Yeah, just with a compressor and a centrifuge in there as well. Keep pressing that button. Right. Diamond grinding head. Oh my god. Steel ingots. Oh, then he's an industrial electrolyzer just for it. Oh my god. Things are getting complicated now. So we need four of these extractors. Let's just start with that. Let's just start with four extractors. Probably need all my rubber. And a whole bunch of copper. Just make a bunch of wires. I need a grinder at some point as well. So four extractors, so I need 16 tree taps. I'm just going to throw these on the ground. No, don't pick them up. Oh, okay, didn't need to do that. Then I need the basic... Oh, I don't have enough of this iron stuff, do I? Oh, I don't have enough iron in general. I am cooking some up right now. So I did mine some. Okay, I've got plenty of the refined iron. And while I was waiting for it to cook, I had the idea of extending my rubber tree up really high. And seeing if we can get more sap. And it seems to be working. So I'm quite happy with that. I've got a very tall tree. So now, where was I? So I don't take them out. I didn't take them out of the furnaces. So I needed four of these to get the extractors. Okay, extractor one, extractor two, three, and four. So then I'm going to need three of these advanced machine casings. I mean, I already have one, but I, I need three more. So that means more carbon plates. So I need six of these, 12 of these. So I need 48 of the coal dust. I have 38, so I need 10 more. Iron is still cooking away. Last bit of dust to chuck in. Oh, I got the dust, by the way, by sticking the ores in here with the forge hammer. Which I didn't realise doesn't stay in there, so I'll put it in here. Right, so three of the basic ones, and then we need to advance it. So to advance it, we also needed the alloy, didn't we? The advanced alloy... 
So we've got two here, then we need more. So three Electrum, three Bronze, and three Tin I did. That's not the Tin, that's the Refined Iron. There's the Tin. Uh, is that not how I did it? Oh no, it wasn't Electrum, it was Invar. I knew it was one of the alloys. Just picked the wrong one. And we'll just do it in one of these furnaces. And then we'll chuck those in there. Okay, so that's that dealt with. Then we need some iron plates next. We need eight iron plates. Which I, I know I can just get from the Forge Hammer. So I can get one for one with a hammer. So I need eight iron. And my hammer. Coal dust done. Okay, I wasn't quite right. I didn't quite factor in everything in my calculations. That, oh no, I have more coal dust here. Okay, I need to wait for that. So then, is that everything I need for the industrial electrolyzer? I think it is. So then for the grinder, we're going to need these diamond grinding heads. And we're also, because they both need water in them, so we're also going to have to find some sort of pump. Is there a pump in this mod? Uh, I'm not seeing any. Pump. There's an industrial revolution pump there. It doesn't look impossibly hard. Looks looks quite doable to be honest. I don't know how well it works though. Is there just like an infinite water source block? There's Granny Sink. So I could, I think I might just make Granny Sink and just do that. Um, that's cool. A block only aquatic mobs can pass through. A oh, water mill there. That's probably what. Oh no, that's a that's a generator. So yeah, we'll make Granny sink. So I just need concrete for that. That's that's quite easy, and I'll just extract from that. But then I will need some sort of pipe. Stick with. There's no pipes in Tech Reborn. Well, how do you expect us to get the water into your machines then? So we're ready to go on the industrial electrolyzer. Get that up here. It's looking. Wait, there's no. Do I not need water for the industrial electrolyzer? Oh no, no, that wasn't the one that needed water. It was the grinder that needed the water. But I mean, technically, oh, we're low on power. I don't really want to spend any of my coal. Let's just sleep so solar panels can get charging again. There we go. Yeah, that's just that's charged everything. So 
So we need steel. And to get steel, we need the blast furnace. Yeah, looks like we just straight up need a blast furnace for this. Infusing. Just coal and iron dust. Alright, but we'll figure out how to get some steel in the next episode, because we do need to cool this one here. I mean, technically I don't have to get the industrial grinder, I can simply just get aluminium from my industrial electrolyzer. I just won't get very much, so yeah, I guess I'll just do that. So I'll grind this stuff down. And then... I need some empty cells for it. So, I need like 10 of it, don't I? 12. So this is an inefficient way of getting aluminium, but it's better than no way. Okay, so this should be going now. For our first, oh god, that is eating away at the power, but this should be our first little bit of aluminium. Okay, that's eight lots of aluminium dust. I've got hydrogen cell and compressed air cell, I'm not sure what I'll use those for. A little bit of titanium. If we chuck those in there, oh no, can you not just cook aluminium dust? What am I supposed to do with it now? Really? It, it, it gets more complicated than this. I need to get a bloody blast furnace. Oh my god. Oh, it gets so complicated. Right, we'll do that in the next episode. Thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you then. Goodbye.